How to fragment, pass and shapes in Illustrator. I'm using CC 220. You can use 219, 218, etc. I'm going to create a circle. You could, of course, create any other different path. Set the colour. So once you've done that, the key tool here is the knife tool. You can find that in the tools panel and it's below the eraser tool. So there's the knife. And just apply the knife in one continuous stroke or multiple strokes on top of that shape. And it will break the shape apart. So now you've got multiple parts. And you can do it at different angles. Do it five, ten times. Up to you. Now at the moment, it doesn't look much different from a circle. But it's actually individual parts. So you can go to Object Menu and Transform and Transform Each. Key thing is transform objects is on. Also, random is on, and then options. Random is definitely needs to be on. Reflect Y and reflect X. Set those on as well if you wish. And then just vary the move settings. You can also change the scale, you can also change the angle, you can also change the origin points there. Now once you're happy with that, click OK. Now you can apply this transform again if you wish. You can go back to that same object menu and apply it on all those paths or different paths. Also what you can do, you can now select each of those paths and recolor them, apply different effects. Now this time what I'm going to do, I've got a circle here. This time I'm going to use a radial effect. Use the knife tool from the centre and create a radial design and then create a spiral all the way through from the centre. Go to the object menu and transform and transform each. You can use the same settings as before or vary the scale, the angle as well as the move. Change the origin point, you can also change the reflect X, reflect Y. Once you're happy with your design, click OK. So there's your design. What you can also do, you can apply effects to it. So you can go to the effect menu and down to say stylize and drop shadow or maybe one of the distort effects. Like stylize and drop shadow. Once you're happy with your shadow, click OK. Now this might take a few seconds, depends on your machine. So you've now got shadow effects. If you don't want that, go to the appearance panel and you can find that in the window menu. Appearance. And you can remove the drop shadow effect. Just go down to Reduce Basic Appearance. Now you can create another shape. I'm just going to create again a circle. And what you can do is apply Effect Before. So go to Effect, go to 3D and Extrude. Set the preview to on, change the values and once you're happy, Click OK. And what you can do, go back to the knife tool. With the knife tool selected, apply it over the design. The path will be fragmented again, but this time with the 3D effect. Apply the knife tool at different angles to create all kinds of amazing fragmented designs. As they are individual paths, you can go to the appearance panel and change the extrude setting for each. You can also go and vary the colour as well, if you wish, for each of the fragments. You can always apply the transform each again and again. Of course, you don't need to use the transform each. You can just go to the selection tool and just move them independently. Move one or an entire group. In the panel, you can use the same settings as before or vary them. Up to you. 
vary the move settings, scale, etc. Once you're happy, click OK. And there you have it. A lovely fragmented design, very quickly and easily using the knife tool as well as the transform each. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding tutorials all the time for Illustrator, Photoshop and many others. Also please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.